Hello again. <clears throat> this is the water band. Spiritual toolbox number 371. John chapter 4, recording number 113, or number 13. Audio recording number 689. And examination table number 346. I have it pre recorded. We'll be continuing in John chapter 4, verse 5. It says in the King James Version, Then cometh he to a city of Samaria where is which is called Samaria near a parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Okay, here it goes. Hello again. This is the water man. Spiritual toolbox number three hundred and seventy one. John chapter four, recording number thirteen. Audio recording number 689, examination table number 346. We'll be continuing in John chapter 4, verse 5, okay? Now, I was going to go fishing this morning, but I think I'm just going to stay here and fish, be a fisher of men, which is what I was praying for a long time. Other people didn't understand what I was telling me. Well, I don't think that means what you think it means. They didn't understand. I was, I was praying in agreement with God. I would be a fisher of men. Not the, the fish out there having fun. I said, that's okay. But that's not what I was focusing on. Inside, they couldn't read the thoughts and intents of my, of my heart, of my insides. No matter how close, no matter how much they thought they knew, they didn't know. Okay, same way with no matter how close someone's seen me go through something or someone's seen you go through something, thinks, well, they know exactly what you're going through. Hmm? Unless they've been through something really similar, they don't. And they don't know exactly what that tailor made the lips of the pressures, tribulations, trials, calamities coming into you to get that, get you to change the way you think, giving you the opportunity is, huh? You know, just like coming out of a call and all this stuff and all these hard things, going to college and taking tests, college level tests, some double and quadruple things, having a magnifier. Magnifying glasses in my in, in glasses in my in my pocket. I pull them out, trying to just so I can see the stuff. Looking up stuff. I, I, just to, just a one on one. They didn't have to do all that stuff. So who wasn't there? That, oh, those just hard things just to beat you down. God's on purpose. Having people saying, what are you doing? Making a career out of that going They're just, what would you drive me to? Give up? Hmm? No. It's only by the grace of God that you make it through these things. Out of your mind and your power, you're just like banging your head. Hmm? Turn, nah. That's futile. But you gotta experience this stuff so that you can truly give up on it. God's got to boil that, 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 that impurities out of that gold into like the refiner's pot to have it come to the top. So you can see that it come to the top like dross. Now, so I skin this stuff out too. I told you, you want to become a widow to this stuff or you want to hang on to it? You have to decide. When you decide to do it on your own, might have good and evil, you're going to double the trouble. But whenever God skims it out, throws that stuff away, when you agree, you green light God in hot pursuit and depart from that stuff, he increases. Oh my goodness, hurrah oh, when it qualifies with God. Huh? Not when you said, I just about gave enough of that. I just about had enough of this bullshit. Right. It's for a purpose. Your rope is getting twisted into a bigger, thicker, huh? Just like you showed me a vision. But that may I don't know you. I put 
from this big tree, a big, heavy cord of rope, rolling it down to a bunch of fish. I was just gathering around top of that water, man, uh, unbelievably grabbing onto it and pulling her up and helping her over the limb gingerly until where God's doing the work, into that spring-fed little pool of water where it's bullying, bubbling, and God's putting them. But I'm encouraging them. I'm helping them. I'm loving them. Sufferings of this age. Pissing piss and stuff. Right? Hmm. Little of little importance. That's temporary and unsatisfactory. So this stuff is permanent gain. And I will hold you up with that. Hmm. It's not the easy peasy way. I mean, it won't get you nowhere. Can't even get up out of that water. Huh? Are you on lower stinking think of it? Ain't no way you can come up over the limbs in your life to the higher call. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue in this verse. Start out reading it from the King James first. Verse five of John chapter four. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar near to a parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Okay? Now, that man, you read that in just a couple, a couple seconds. Yeah, but you need to get into it. There's a whole lot more. That's the depth of this. It's, um, it's unfathomable. Because God, it's a living word. God, it just keeps growing and growing and increasing. He that has a mute, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches, the called out ones. <clears throat> hmm? Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, so we, we covered, cometh he, that's Erhamai, and then, then, that's our own, and then two, that was ice, two and into, okay? Indicating, let's see. Indicating the point reached or entered, okay? And then now, this is when you come in that storm of life, you either go up, great like God, or go down. This is going down. Hey, don't swallow that horse shit. Be all tall of it. Your own humanistic thinking with your big eye in the middle. Don't feed from that thing. Don't partake in that, no matter if it looks good, bad, ugly. Whatever, you got a right. Duh, no, you don't. Take you do, okay, how at it? God turn you over to to that stuff. Let it beat you up or get out there and you start getting all this unrighteous gain or whatever. It's transitory. Temporary and unsatisfactory. It's not gonna last. Huh? Alright, now <coughs> it says <coughs> City of Samaria, okay? A city of Samaria. Now that word that they translate as a city is a P-O-L-I-S, 4172, this word. G-O-G, 4172, Paulus, 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 okay, it's a feminine noun, and it, the same as 4171, and perhaps 4183, okay? We'll go over both of those words. Okay, right now we're gonna go back still over that polis, okay? And all my biblical says it's one's uh, native city, the city which one lives. Huh? Now in your natural carnal state, that non-spiritual state, what city are you living in in your mind? That grouchy bear, Guarded towers of your carnal mind like Nineveh. It's bitter enemies of God, of God's righteousness. It's enmity directly opposed. Are you living? Are you making a stand in that bullshit? Hmm? Don't wake me up. I'm asleep. I'm going to cut your head off, man. Grouchy 
marriage vow. Don't do that. Don't swallow. Don't partake in that horse shit. Right? That, of your own humanistic thinking, that horse always wants more, more, more. I want more bigger barns and, you know, bigger house, bigger cars, more money, more money. Money, the love of money is the root of all evil. Yuck, 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 yuck. Right? Uh, what's that? Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. After it's telling all about all that stuff before that, too, in that chapter. It's, it's tempering and it's like, yeah, yuck. Okay? It doesn't really, it doesn't give you a permanent change. That love beyond the mere description of words, that satisfaction guaranteed. No. Okay? Says, seek ye first, in time, place, and order of importance, the kingdom, that right to rule in God, that becoming a royal hero in God. Hmm? Becoming, existing, 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 right back into God. Gaining that ability to return. Love God as he first loved you, right? Hmm. Alright, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, God's righteousness, not your own. And all this other stuff will be added to you. God will give you. Make sure you get it. Huh? Just like I got, like, uh, just one little bit of example, okay? Like, uh, not this year, but last year, it was starting to get hot. My heat pump went out. I did have air conditioner, and I've had that heat stroke and stuff. And, man, and it starts getting up about 75, 80. I start getting sick. If I can't function worth a hoot, sometimes worse than others, man, I get overheated doing almost nothing. Sometimes I take it a little better than others, but most times not very good at all. Okay. I'd go take cold showers, ice packs, everything else, try to get uh, my, my, like my thermostat in the natural been messed up. Okay. And uh, it went out. We didn't have money. We didn't have about four thousand dollars to get a new one. Fans and stuff weren't really helping much. It wasn't even hot yet. It was in the spring. And it was like, oh my goodness. It was just like we just trusted in God. Didn't. Uh, but it wasn't like. Getting all bothered or something, and it was really like you know, up in the summer. Shoot, I was going to die. I'm late, not be able to move or something. I mean, just uh, heart attack, whatever. I don't know. It would just take me down. But God gives us, just all of a sudden, we got this uh, about 3,000 something, and then other things come in and stuff, and it just worked out. We had. Almost enough, and then we just with a little bit of other than a hundred and some dollars out of things, they they could do it, they could come and install it. Well, they was gonna, we was gonna have to wait, but I didn't sweat that. I went fishing that one morning, and then in, the, in my kayak, man, I got the great big, I carry all, I carry stuff to make it so I could do it. Great big cushion and everything, ice water, I mean, ice coffee, and peanut butter crackers and all kinds of stuff just so I can do it and I'll take a big old rag and dip it in the water and wet my whole head down and my, this water come down me to help cool me down and I was down there fishing actually I went to the back of it and was doing a recording actually before I started doing these videos I did a recording I had no with me and then I went fishing for a little bit and when I came back so it was supposed to still be another week or two before they could do it. Come back, they were in there, and they had the heat, uh, the old one taken out, and the other one halfway in. By the time I got back, and it was all paid for. Oh, my goodness. And then I went back in and, and studied the Bible. CT first, the king of the Listening to God, thanking Him, rejoicing. 
that's the thing that's added to you. Hmm. But that was going to be a necessity. You know? It wasn't something just I was like, man, I just can you know, wasn't that great, man. It was something I needed. Years ago, I could have, it would have just been on copper. Huh? It was going to be a necessity, this one. I could end up being like before, being laying down, vomiting all over myself, couldn't even roll over, and they take me out on a stretcher. Huh? Or worse, just die. But then let that fear get me in that holy fish. Just do what I gotta do, study. Don't worry about it, it's who I drop. Okay? Just one little example. Okay? <clears throat> That's one maybe other people can see. But they'll hear it. Okay? <clears throat> now, in this a city, this polis, 4172, okay? It's one's own native city. What you living in? You stand, you're feeding from that crap thinking, you're standing in a non-spiritual state. Or you come back to God, make a stand in God, or you make a stand in your own righteousness. Huh? The state in which one lives. Okay? Now, this is the, the city of Samaria. Huh? And in between those two words is the word 3588. That's that ha, that ball of thinking. He's telling you, it's inside of you. That ball of your thinking. God's at work. Hmm? Hmm? You got to do it the same way. This is Jesus going through his, going into the city. He's showing you. He's showing the example. He's fulfilling it. Okay? Now, <clears throat> this word comes from, this polis comes from two words here. They're, they're, they're the same as, okay? Now, the same them, I mean, I'll have it written. Uh, say it. If I can get this to come up. Kind of phrasing or something here. Let me see here. There it is. Uh, okay, 4171. It comes from 4171. It's what? The same as this word. And it's P L L E M O S, this word. Strong G, 4171. Polymos. Polymos. Polymos, okay? And it's a masculine term. It's from uh, P E L O M A N. They don't have to pronounce the way to pronounce that, uh, Pelamon or something like that. Uh, and it means to, the bu to bustle. Uh, like the hustle and the bustle, that old car was thinking, thinking like a big, busy city. city. All kinds of stuff going on in there, moving around. Your old car mind really gets working sometimes, and uh, that old non spiritual thinking man it gets telling and arguing and accusing you and trying to give you false. Mm, I'm your better, I'm your better, I'll do it this way, do this. It's a loud mouth. It's telling you the wrong way, right? Hustle and bustle. Huh? Punch that guy in the face. Tell him all. Like, you know, you got right. All kinds of nasty stuff. It's not a guy that's directly opposed. Right? Um, I got a note here that thoughts of one's own non spiritual mind is like the bus, like a bustling city. Alright? Hustle and bustle of it, real busy. Alright? And the Strong's, it's, it's uh, warfare. Hmm? The cold mind and the Spirit of God is uh, like a warfare. They're directly opposed. What is it? The battle is the Lord's, not yours. If you try to battle, Beat up those old giants hmm? in your land, in your mind, all that stuff. They gonna whoop your ass. Hmm? You're gonna become beast nature. More and more, deeper, deeper, deeper. You're gonna get buried in that shit stinking. That diarrhea. Your own seeing here and take such a spell with your own ego in the way. You might be thinking, man, I am the man, I'm doing it. You're getting Buried by that Amorite right there, that pride. And you're saying, man, I'm doing great. I'm just great. Oh, look, I'm a great big billy bob here, man. I'm buried. I'm like, I'm like a ten foot tall giant. Hmm. Come and just, you're protecting in that Goliath. And his brothers, aren't you? Hmm. Oh, my goodness. You're feeding into 
Only your own own interest. Don't even know it. Because you can't see your face, touch, or smell. That old wall can uh, get that thing out so you can see rightly. Get that splinter. Oh, someone else uh, help them. Or help yourself. Get that log out, okay? Huh? Uh, yeah, it's, it's this battle is the Lord's. It's God's righteousness versus your own righteousness. The green way versus the red way. Huh? All right, they're, they're directly opposed to each other, okay? Okay. Now, um, in this word, it's also saying, this is in the strongest, it's saying a single encounter or a series of battles. Now, there's a series of battles. See, in each thought process, and then coming up to each step, it's a series of battles. Which way are you going? Down the drain? Off that ledge or falling down the steps? Or you green lighting God? With everything you got and going up higher, higher, higher. Again, 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 it's a battle right there. God's giving, a, giving his case, his argument, his... Definition or, or his, uh, what you call that? Uh, I forgot. I, I, I got tongue tied there. But and uh, his, the intensity, he's increased it so that you make you're, you're brought to that precipice there. You yeah, throw up that wall. That's really a step to come up higher. Green lighting job, or go down, fall down the drain, fall down them spiraling staircase. Okay. Now, in the Thayers, it's saying it's a war, a fight, a battle. And we know that the battle is the Lord's, right? It's not ours. You try to do it with your own ego, dog, in, the, in that fight. Put him in the middle, leaving that as the king of your heart. That scene here in Taste of the Spell with that old log in there, that alpha dog, that eye, oh, you got the diarrhea thinking. That's got to be kicked out. And it's been replaced by God. The rightful king. Soon here in taste, that's as well with Christ, the, the anointing of God. The grace. Trusting with that in that thermostat. The seed of Christ plus whatever. God, uh, gospel, good news. Those, those uh, strands of rope that he's twisted into that thought process. Bring you out of that thing, right? Now, it comes from that word, that polymus. And it's also the same as 4183. Let's do this one real quick. And this one's also an adjective. It's P O L Y S. Strong's G, 4183. Palus. 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 And that's an adjective. And many, much, or large. It's what these six foot wall steps are too large, too much. Huh? And there's many of those staircases going up. Hmm? All you can see is the one in front of you, and it's too much for your 666 nature, your 666 thinking processes. God's trying to get this out of you. So be reasonable, see my way, green like me, right? Hmm? The battle is the Lord's, not any person's. You can't do it with your might and your power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Okay? Now, let's go to the next verse, or next, <laughs> next word, which I kind of already said it, but it, cause it's a very familiar word. Should be by now. So we got that first word, cometh he, erhamai. And then it's our own, and ice, that translates as tube, it's into, to indicating the point reached, right? Huh? Then a city, that's a palace that we just covered, okay? Where it's like a war, a fight. And that hustle and bustle of that city, of your mind, it's all. Hmm? And then now, it's got a word that didn't translate here. It's ha, 3588. This word right here. Strong 
Dodge Chase, 3588. Huh. Huh. That's that ball of thinking of your mind. Hmm. Guys want to take out some dirt. If you want to hand up, stay on it. And stay in that crap thicket. You don't fall down the, down the drain, down the steps. Okay? And that's the, the ball of your thinking. That city, that hustle bustle thing of Samaria. 4540. S A M A R E I A. And it's this word. Strong G 4540. Samaria. Samaria. Remember, that's that proper locative now. Okay? And it's the same as the word, that's the same word that was in the last verse. Okay? In John 4 4. And, um, <clears throat> Is from the Hebrew original word eight uh, eight eight thousand one hundred eleven. Okay, and it's that Watch Mountain, that Guard Tower in Palestine, and that in your own carnal mind, your own carnal thinking, this hustle and bustle stuff, and the balls of your thinking. It's that carnal mind, right? It's like that Ninevite city, guarded towers, crouching bears in there. <laughs> No, I'm really your pal. Just swoop me up on the top of your head, beat it. Oh, right. Something real, man. They're not. They're not good. They're not friendly. They're directly opposed to you. Hmm. Very manipulative. Okay. So, you know, guardianship, watchtower, the whole thing. Okay. It's in Palestine. It's in your carnal mind. Okay. Hustle and bustle, this great city, right? Alright. <coughs> now, now, the next word is which is called. Okay, it's from 3004. L A G O, Lego. Let's see. Strong's G, 3004. Lego. Okay. Lego. It's a verb, it's a root word. In Strong's, it means to mean, to relate in words, usually of systematic or set discourse. Okay? So it's telling what this is meaning in, in this old grouchy bear city. This guardianship of that old carnal, non spiritual thinking. I'm alright, man. You just don't bother me. I'll never, never, never. Too personal with me, man. It's God taking putting the, the question to you, giving His argument, explanation, and His intensification to get you to give up on that bullshit thinking. And that old Carter, all of us got to be I'm sleeping good. Come on, what you wake me up for? I'm being asleep like it's been dead. Okay. Don't stay in that dead, death realm of separation by even though you're a coal mine, growing deeper and deeper and deeper, even though the tree of your own natural, non spiritual thinking, the tree of life, I mean the tree of death, huh? uh, um, the tree of both good and evil, okay? Don't eat that. It is kind of like a death apple. Okay, I'm speaking of separation. Okay, you gotta turn from that and eat from the tree like partaking God. Okay, now the next word it's talking about is of Sychar. Uh, 4965 S Y C H A R. That's the city in Samaria. Strong's G 4965. Sochar. Sochar. Okay, we're almost segmented, and we'll pick it up here next, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, that one takes to that one, and I'll get the next one after this is uploaded. Bye-bye.